Welcome to ICEELST 2022. I am Ruzia and my co-researchers are Muhammad Azwan Maisa, Zabedah Zaharum and Muhammad Adib Baharudin. We are from University Technology Mara. Today we would like to present our study entitled Profitability Determinants of Here is my presentation outline. I will start with the introduction and background of study and then I will share some of the important previous studies regarding this topic. I will then explain the methodology used in this study followed by findings and discussion. And lastly, I will conclude my presentation. Profitability is widely viewed as a necessary requirement for a company's long-term survival and success. It is an important characteristic of a company to analyze its financial performance for the past years for them to be on track and has a future potential to success if the company's operation is managed smoothly and properly. Busan Malaysia offers a choice of three markets to companies seeking for listing in Malaysia, which are the main market, the ace market and also the lead market. Is market which stands for Access, Certainty, Efficiency is a sponsor-driven market designed for companies with growth prospects. The Ace market allows medium and small size companies to inject more capital into their companies, resulting in development and hence encouraging more innovative products, development and growth in the economy. With these three different markets, Busan Malaysia is offering investors a better and effective way of trading. Although technology companies dominate the ACE market, there are other players from different sectors as well. Among practitioners and scholars, the question of which elements influence a firm's profitability is still a hot and relevant topic. High profitability indicates that the company has a bright future and investors will respond positively to these signals, resulting in a rise of the company's value. Therefore, it is important for the company's stakeholders and prospective investors to acknowledge the factors that affect company's profitability. Despite the fact that an extensive amount of research regarding companies' profitability has been conducted, there is no uniform answers to the question of what are the de determinants of the company's profitability. Therefore, it is important for the companies, stakeholders and prospective investors to acknowledge the factors that affect companies' profitability. So, this study aims to determine the effect of several selected firm-level factors on profitability performance of technology companies listed on ACE market of Pusa, Malaysia. The purpose of the study is to investigate the relationship between companies' profitability and selected firm-level factors. The study will focus on companies under technology sector listed on ACE market of Pusa, Malaysia. The research question is, what is the relationship between the profitability and selected firm level factors of technology companies in ACE market of Pusa, Malaysia? Hypotheses that have been developed are as follows. 1. There is a significant relationship between firm size and company's profitability. 2. There is a significant relationship between liquidity ratio and company's profitability. 3. There is a significant relationship between debt ratio and company's profitability. 4. There is a significant relationship between average collection period and company's profitability. And 5. There is a significant relationship between sales growth and company's profitability. Now, I will discuss some previous studies regarding this topic. There are several measurements of companies' profitability, for example, return on equity, ROE, net profit margin, NPM, and return on asset, ROA. This study used ROA as a measurement of profitability. ROA is a metric that determines how much net income a company can generate from all its assets. Higher ROA of a company performance will lead to more effective company and also indicates that the company has a bright future and investors 
will respond positively to these signals, resulting in a rise of the company's value. Many previous studies have used ROA to measure profitability as a dependent variable. See for example a few that I, I have listed on the slides. Empirical evidence has given varying results relating to the relationship between firm size and profitability. This study used the log of total assets as the company's size measure. Several studies found that size has a significant positive influence on determining profitability. On the other hand, Margareta and Supatika 2016 argue that size has a significant negative effect to company's profitability. However, there were also some findings that found size is insignificant. The impact of liquidity on company's profitability, in fact, still has contradictive results. This study used current ratio as the proxy for liquidity. Current ratio measures the ability of companies to pay short-term obligations which due within one year. Sev several relevant studies have reported a positive relationship between current ratio and profitability. For example, Lim and Rokim 2020, Amanda 2019, Rehman et al. 2015. Besides equity, companies use leverage to finance their assets. Instead of issuing stock to raise capital, companies can use debt to invest in business operations in an attempt to increase shareholder value. This study used debt, debt ratio as a measure of profitability. Debt ratio is among the most popular measure used to gauge the ability to meet short-term obligations of companies as stated by Brigham and Houston 2011. Alvaris et al. 2021 Ngo et al. 2020, Habib et al. 2016, Hong et al. 2011 reported that that ratio is one of the factors in determining profitability. However, several studies have suggested that that ratio has failed to show significant influence on determining companies' profitability. The previous literature assumed that there is a negative relationship between average collection period and company's profitability where companies with lower ACP or average collection period is more profitable compared to companies with higher average collection period ACP. Several studies found that ACP has a significant influence on determining profitability. However, there were also some findings that argue ACP is an insignificant factor to determine profitability. Sales growth is a measure of financial stability of a company and which also describes the ability of the company's sales in maintaining its revenue position. The empirical evidence regarding the relationship of sales growth with profitability is mixed. For example, Treshnawati et al. 2021, Iqbal and Zukwan 2015, Almwala 2012 found that sales growth is a significant relationship with profitability. However, there are other researchers who found contradict results. This figure shows the proposed conceptual framework for this study which consists of a dependent variable and five independent variables. Due to data availability, this study included 21 technology companies listed on ACE market of Busa, Malaysia. All data were taken from the company's financial reports for a period of five years from 2016 until 2020. The collected data were then analyzed using eViews statistics. Descriptive analysis, correlation analysis, and multiple linear regression analysis was performed to find the relationship between the selected firm level factors and company's profitability. One displays the descriptive statistic from a panel data of 21 technology companies listed on ACE market. 
Relationship between variables were tested by using Pearson product moment correlation. Table 2 shows the result of Pearson's correlation matrix. ACP shows a significant correlation with the dependent variable. Next, a multiple regression analysis was conducted in order to evaluate the relationship between the independent variables to, justi to justify the dependent variable. The results of the study highlight the following. First, liquidity is significantly and positively related to ROA. Second, average collection period or ACP is significantly and negatively related to ROA. And finally, size, leverage and sales growth showed an insignificant effect to profitability. From the findings that we have discussed, we can conclude that H2 and H4 are supported while H1, H3 and H5 are not supported. The results of this study are beneficial to investors with regard to their investment portfolio management and also to financial managers with regard to enhancing their company's profitability, hence maximizing the shareholders' wealth. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for watching this video and stay safe.